Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Summer for those who are new here. Today is all things whey. We're trying out some products from this hair care line brought to us by the one and only Jen Atkin. So let's get started. So from her line, I'm going to be using her fine hair shampoo and conditioner, her volumizing spray, the leave-in conditioner, texturizing spray, and dry shampoo. All right, let's start off with the shampoo and conditioner. I got her fine hair shampoo because that's just what my hair type fits into. The shampoo is free of sulfates, parabens, this word I still can't say, with key ingredients like biotin, hydrolyzed keratin, and chia seed oil. This shampoo will give you ample volume while also thickening, leaving your hair feeling clean and full. Her fine hair shampoo is 10 ounces and retails for $28. The fine hair shampoo is best paired with the fine conditioner, which also has biotin, hydrolyzed keratin, and chia seed oil. It is a lightweight conditioner that will leave the hair with volume and softness, free of those same harsh chemicals as the shampoo. It comes in the same size to retailing at $28 as well. Her leave-in conditioner detangles, it hydrates, it also helps with frizz, which is a bonus of course. On top of it being a heat protectant, it also helps prevent breakage. It's 4.7 ounces and retailing for 26. Next up, we have her volumizing mist. This is 4.7 ounces as well, retailing for 26. She seems to keep most of her stuff right under $30. This is described as a volume mist that builds body, is lightweight and long lasting. It also is good for shine and frizz control. The spray also has panthenol in it, which is gonna help strengthen your hair and retain moisture, which makes for a nice balance because so many volume products tend to dry out the hair. The texturizing hairspray is described as if a hairspray and dry shampoo had a baby, which is a lovely description, let's be honest. It's gonna give you a bit of hold while giving you added texture for a little bit more movement in your hair. To be honest, I have used this product before, but but only um, for the texture aspect when I curled my hair. So I'm curious to use it for more of just that straight hairspray aspect. It also retails for 26 and is 4.5 ounces. And last and never least, we have the dry shampoo, which is always a necessity. This is 4.5 ounces as well, retailing for 24. It is described to absorb oil, keep your volume. It's made with rice starch, which is also going to help absorb the most amount of oil for your hair. So now that we've touched on the description and price of these products, now comes the fun part. So let's get going, starting off, of course, with getting this hair washed. Okay, so now that I have shampooed and conditioned my hair, I'm gonna start off by using her leave-in conditioner first before I put in my volumizing spray. So I'm just gonna lightly shake it and mist it in. Has a very light smell. That's the one thing I've noticed about all of her stuff right now. It's all very light and clean, the scent is, which I'm always a big fan of. I'm a little sensitive to smells, so I appreciate that. I will say the shampoo and conditioner were both also very light. Like the conditioner didn't feel heavy in my hair at all. I tried to avoid my roots in general just so nothing gets weighed down and the shampoo lathered really well. Okay, so now that my hair is brushed through with the leave-in, I'm gonna add in the volumizing spray. This I'm just gonna spray all over my hair, roots and my ends so I get maximum volume. And I'll be curious to see if it's like stiff while drying or if there's any product feel on my hair afterwards. And then I'm just gonna lightly spray a little bit more in my crown area just cause I like some height there. And now we're gonna dry. Okay, so now I am fully styled and dried with using the leave-in conditioner and the volumizing spray. I'm happy with the results. There's really, there's a little bit of product feel, but I honestly like a little bit of product feel with my volumizing products. I don't honestly like my hair feeling super soft and clean. That's just me, but it was easy to get the blow dryer and brush through my hair. The brush never was really sticking, even in the spots that I had put a little bit more in the crown area. So I was really happy with that. That's the number one thing I do hate with volumizing products. Sometimes they're too sticky and it's hard to get your brush through, but I didn't have that problem at all. And I'm overall happy with the volume amount that I got, especially considering it's just a spray. But um, so now we're gonna move into using the texturizing hairspray. I'm gonna use this later in the week too um, with curling my hair to see how it plays off of that as well. And I'm just gonna use it today more so as a hairspray. Um, I'll spray it everywhere, but I really am curious of the hold if you use it just as a hairspray and not a texture spray. 
This does say you can use it from roots to ends. Today, because I'm using it more of just like a hairspray, I'm not gonna really hit it on my roots. I'm just gonna focus throughout my ends. So I'm just gonna shake it, give it a light spray. It smells nice. It's a light smell too, which I prefer. It has a, you can feel the hold a little bit, like it's light. You can brush your hands through it for sure. So we'll see how that holds up throughout my day. And like I said, I'm gonna be curling my hair later in the week and using this more as a texture spray to see how it does with the curls. So stay tuned. Okay, so I just got home from work. I'm on my day two of using the shampoo and conditioner for the first time with the volumizing spray. Um, Yesterday on my day one, just later in the evening, I walked my dog around our neighborhood, which I always do. Super humid and disgusting. It's Florida in September. And I just did some cooking and cleaning. So I had a long, hard day in the salon today. I don't feel like my hair looks bad. I don't feel like it maintained like as much fullness as I would prefer. I feel like the texture spray kind of helped me throughout the day. Like I could fluff it up and it would have a little bit more life to it. But I don't really care for the hair texturizing hairspray as a hairspray. I don't feel like there's quite enough hold and it kind of shoots out of the can fairly fast that it just moves your hair kind of out of the position you want it to be in. But tomorrow I'm going to use the dry shampoo on my scalp and I'm going to curl my hair to use it as just the texturizing spray for the curls to see how I've done that before, but again, I'd like to see how it holds up because I've only used it one time really prior. So excited to keep trying this product out. It is nice, it's very light. Like for as much as I spray to my hair, I don't feel like my hair's super product feeling, which is nice. So I will keep you guys updated. All right, so now I'm gonna use the Waze Hair Texturizing Spray. I have wanded my hair and I'm just gonna spray it in to give it a little bit more body and movement. So I'm gonna shake. So yeah, definitely gives some extra fluff to it for sure. Um, it is very, very light. So like I said, I've used it before for when my hair is curled, um, but it'll be good to make a note of it a little bit more as far as how well it holds up and whatnot. So I'll keep you guys posted. Okay, so I'm finally gonna try out her dry shampoo. Like I said before, this is made with rice starch, so it's going to be super absorbent to any oil in the hair. I am getting a little greasy at my roots and stuff, so I'm very curious to try it out. I'm curious of residue it's gonna leave behind, product feel, and the smell. So far, everything in her line has been like a nice light smell, so I'm hoping this is the same. So I'm just gonna shake my can. It's actually a very nice mist that comes out. It's pretty clean feeling on my scalp this far. Like I don't, it's not an automatic like stiff product feel. I truly appreciate that. And it's a very, very light smell. Yeah, my scalp has like fully absorbed this completely. So, so far I'm really happy. I'll be curious. I don't like to stretch dry shampoo for more than two days. So I'll use this one more time tomorrow before I wash again, um, which maybe tomorrow it'll feel more producty on my scalp. I don't know, time will tell, but so far so good. And it fluffed up my hair a little bit. So that is always nice. That's always a perk with any dry shampoo, but yeah. I got no problems with it thus far. All right, now that I have gone this whole week using these products, it's time for my final thoughts. I washed my hair this week three times, which is pretty standard for me, give or take how strenuous my routine is. I liked the shampoo and conditioner all three times I used it. My hair was left feeling clean. I didn't feel like it dried my hair out at all, and it was not weighed down either. The leave-in conditioner, I really liked how it comes out of the bottle, the mist. It sprays very evenly, and with how humid it's been in Florida this week, I really appreciated the help that it gives for any frizz that can be brought on. Her volume spray, I was impressed with it. I'm picky about my volume too, but I felt like it gave a good bounce to my hair. I feel like because of the panthenol in it, my hair was left feeling a little softer than with other volume products, which was a nice change. I do wish she had a root lifter for the extra volume at your roots, because because although I like the volume spray, I do feel like it lacked on giving just that extra kick at your roots that a lot of us 
finer hair girls need. Her dry shampoo, super clean feeling. Again, I love the way that this sprays out of the can. I feel like it doesn't put as much of a white cast on your hair if you spray too close or too much. It definitely absorbs those oils without feeling too producty on the scalp, which can be a big problem with dry shampoo. And I would 100% recommend this to anyone who is in search of a new dry shampoo. Last but not least, we have the texturizing hairspray. I'm kind of left feeling torn on this one. While I love it as a texture spray for when my hair is curled, I wasn't as much of a fan for when my hair was straight. I feel like it just didn't have the same effect. It is very light as product feel goes, um, which I mentioned before, and I did find it to be true every single time I used it. This is her only actual hairspray product, which I wish she had a traditional hairspray just because I didn't find the hold to be as amazing with this. Like I mentioned earlier, it sprays out really fast from the can that I felt it was hard to style my set with a final spray. So there we have it. I overall did like everything. Her dry shampoo would probably be my favorite product from what I tried. I have no negative points or issues with the shampoo, conditioner, or leave-in. And my really, my only problems with the volume spray and the texturizing hairspray is that she doesn't have an actual root lifter for volume or a hairspray for like a style setting. They were still really nice products. I just wish she had a couple more options to pair with them. And maybe down the line that she'll add more. One last thing I wanna make note of the texture Moisturizing spray, you do go through the product really fast from the can. Um, I feel like my can is almost empty in just like a week of using it. So if the $26, $28 price point is high for you, you might want to try a different brand just based off of that. But it's still worth trying out. I think she has like sample sizes too. So I will link everything below in the description. So if you guys are interested, go ahead, feel free to click those links. Like, share, and subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video and I will see you next week.